And actually, I just made a YouTube Shorts reel recently saying, what does everybody think I should build out of the beat up XLT, the hoopty. It got blown up, he ended up getting a marketplace engine, which has compression, test out, piston skirts are all there. I gotta finish putting the boots and carbs on this one, exhaust. But the seat, the seat's destroyed. The hood's cracked, which I didn't realize. I have two hoods I think will fit this, and they're, nothing's wrong with them. Uh, I'm gonna, well, let me start. I always take a project and say, oh yeah, let's pull the motor out of this and the drive line and build a shifter cart or a snowmobile powered lawn mower and something in guy time that you think takes, you know, a weekend or a couple weekends, ends up taking months and then put testing in there almost a year. Uh, before I pull this apart to build some, I think I'm gonna do a off-road go-kart build. Something I can do slicks on it and it has the appearance of a shifter cart but something i can put knobbies on and still play with it in the yard so i guess an off-road shifter cart yard cart well before we do that and start some huge extravagant project i'm gonna build a water skip and sled you know because it's not going to be competitive really to drag race it's a 600 it's from 1995 without dumping a ton of money into it so i thought uh, the seat's junk. All the water skipping sleds, they tear the seats off. So, seat's gone. Gas tank's gone. Uh, eliminate as much weight. Looks like I gotta shorten the front end up, narrow it. I think suck the track all the way in, and then stiffen as much as I can out from something like that. I've been looking at some stuff online and researching it, watching videos on YouTube, and I am not experienced at any of that. I think the most I've done snowmobiling is going on a couple UT, UP trips with a buddy and going up north. I've owned a dozen sleds but used them to drive around back roads on in our town. So um, I'm gonna attempt to build a purpose-built water skipping sled. Uh, and like I was saying, I think I've probably done 300 foot of water in a straight line pinned, you know, worried about sinking. So this would be kind of cool because I'm going to try to make it so you can take off right from shore, hit the water and go, and it's going to be able to carve and turn. And uh, I don't know, I've seen people hit jumps in there. Maybe we can get to that. But that's coming, that's coming shortly. That one, everything's there to make the project run. It's just getting it in the warm garage and tearing all the junk off that I don't need. I think I actually have a perfect little gas tank for it. Because obviously if you sink it in the water, you don't want a ton of gas and a ton of oil. You want very minimum. Uh, they drill the cranks and do some other things on the carburetors for easy being able to drain, blow the machine out and get it relit after you sink them. I think I seen a video and the guy said he had sunk the sled over a thousand times and it still runs great. He's been running it skipping water for three years so that's coming and if you have any good ideas on or tech tips on how to build a water skipping sled please leave a comment after you subscribe like and share no thanks everyone and this is jeff